from the band Chromio. I live in New York City and I was born and raised in Montreal, Canada. I grew up with what you could call like the hip hop generation. You know, being a, a, a white Jewish you know, middle class kid from Canada, I grew up very much removed from the epicenter of it all. Watching videos and, and basically idolizing you know, people like Mob Deep and Nas and, and Wu-Tang Clan. One of the first things I noticed with, with hip hop music is that, you know, a lot of the clothing that people like Biggie was wearing was the same thing my Jewish grandfather would wear. I mean, I was like, well, he, he dresses like a, a retired Jew in Florida. It was always this kind of dialogue between different eras that I liked in fashion and the crisscrossing of references. I guess later on, when, when I started Chromio, there was that same kind of uh, archaeology going on, giving a modern twist on, on something that has been abandoned historically, you know. We just try to keep that dialogue going and, and try to keep that, that sort of a fun progression with what we reference uh, with our looks. There's no such thing as pure repetition, because every time you repeat something, you're repeating it in a new context. It's about digging in the past and, and sort of recontextualizing things. When fashion designers look through the archives uh, to come up with new collections, um, there, there's that digging aspect. And, and it's the same thing we used to do when we used to get a musical education by shopping for secondhand records. Fashion vernacular is, is very much like that. Another important side of fashion is just fit. And I must say that in that department, um, Hip-hop was slightly more detrimental. And I spent, you know, half my life wearing triple oversized baggy jeans and, and saggy t-shirts. But at one point my girlfriend was like, um, well, why don't you try clothing that fits? So then I, I discovered the other side of fashion, which is, you know, the tailoring aspect. So, you know, in a way you start learning about your own body, about what works well with it, and about how to drape it in the most flattering sense. When I was young, in a hip-hop context, I wanted to hide the fact that I was really skinny. Now that I'm older, I wear jeans that may be accentuated or tailored blazers or jackets that accentuated. You grow with yourself, you get to learn about yourself, and ultimately, you get more comfortable with yourself. But where I live is definitely the capital of tattoo-clad, fixed-gear writing, mustachioed men in brogues. I can't really pull that look off too convincingly. So I stick with uh, something, I guess I would say, almost counterpuntal to that. I still like wearing leather jackets, tight jeans, Chelsea boots, or like a really well-fitting, elegant blazer that you subvert a little bit by wearing just a t-shirt underneath or wearing it open and so on and so forth. Sometimes something as superficial as picking a good outfit will actually have profound repercussions on your, on your well-being. Mm -hmm.